Hey, uh, Bob here, Mohawk Valley Farm, and uh, I'm on the road driving to a house that um, apparently has a, another swarm of bees. I don't know what it is about the bees right now, but this will be the, I guess, uh, third swarm in the last few weeks, um, and the fourth swarm that we'll attempt to catch and would make our fifth swarm on the property if we can get it. It sounds like it's uh, pretty far up a tree, so I don't know about my ladder bee catching skills, but uh, we're gonna give it a shot. <laughs> um, so heading out there that now, Taylor's gonna meet us out, meet me out there, and we're gonna assess the situation and hopefully catch another swarm. So on we go for the journey of catching another swarm. So stay tuned. crazy crazy world here we just uh, got a call from our friend Alan Taransky and he said that uh, there's a swarm in his friend's house so we got the pleasure of getting the call to go try and catch this other swarm of bees inside the, up in this tree it's about 20 feet up there maybe 15 or so uh, not a real steady tree we'll see how we do so we got our smoker here we got our our box that we're gonna use which uh, has a lid we can seal and when we're hauling them in the car and uh so if you look up here you can see this swarm by the ladder here we're going to try and uh, shake those bees into, into this box so here we go Alright, let's see if we can... There's two, get the other one, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, you were like pushing one of them. Made him mad. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, let's see what we got here. All right, so success, successful attempt here. We uh, just climbed the tree. We had to clip several branches out of the tree. It's about 15 or so feet up there. And uh, we were able to capture all these bees in here. I'll show you, there's a lot of bees in there. A good sized bucket full. <laughs> and uh, you see them in there? Yeah. So we're gonna let it sit here for a minute and uh, let the rest of the bees kind of swarm into there gather up our tools and we'll head back to the farm and uh, put them in a hive. All right, so that was a success. We captured another um, swarm of bees. So this will make our fifth swarm, our fifth uh, hive that we're about to set up. It's so crazy, you know, in less than a year, we've, we've gotten five different hives set up and one of them which we bought, but the other four were captured. And so we're gonna set this up, pull them in right now into the driveway and. Pretty cool 
can't even describe uh, what it's like to be immersed in bees, um, but getting more and more used to it, the more we do it. Okay, so we're out here on the farm, we got the bees in the box. I'm gonna put it in that box. So let me put my hood on. All right, you wanna take a look inside? Okay, we hauled these in the car. Not really. <laughs> no. Can you see it? You got it? I don't have All right, so there it is. One giant box of bees. All right, we're gonna dump them in here. There leaves in there? Yeah, there's some. Okay, this is the branches they came on. Ah! <sighs> I can feel them hitting me. Put this in there. Out of there, or do they come out the bottom? No, I don't know. All right, hopefully, they'll go in there. All right, hey, we appreciate you watching our video. <laughs> We're gonna hope those bees go inside there. In the meantime, we're gonna get some more, uh, better cover for it and another box to go on top. And hopefully by the time it's all over tonight, they'll all be inside uh, making honey. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. We'll see you later.